Uh, DJ Williams here at War Memorial. We got a lot of fans coming up just wanting to say hi. I absolutely love the uh, interaction we get with these folks down here in Little Rock. But once again, I'm going to go ahead and bring back in Courtney, who is out there right now. And Courtney, you had a chance to kind of dig a little bit You know, DJ, there's a, like you said last so night. Cool called War Memorial Stadium. You know, DJ, like you said last night, there's a lot of controversy when playing this game here at War Memorial Stadium. Should they have it here each year? Should they not? But when you look at the history of this place, it's hard not to see 75 years worth of history for the Razorbacks here in this stadium. And I got a chance uh, just a few weeks ago to spend time with the people who set up this game, who have a hand in making this place what it is. Check it out. In 1946, the Arkansas Razorbacks traveled to Little Rock to play a game against the Rice Owls. But since there was no large stadium to play the game at, they ended up hosting it at Little Rock Central High. But there was a problem. The high school venue was only able to hold 10,000 people. And the crowd was so large, they had to bring in uh, bleacher seats as far away as Magnolia and Russellville. And so that was the impetus that we need a stadium in Little Rock or Central Arkansas. In 1947, the bid to build War Memorial Stadium was won by Little Rock, and construction began shortly after. A stadium by Arkansans for Arkansans. Well, it is the architecture and, and, and the companies involved in it. And, and of course, it was, uh, there was a lot of planning that went into where it was built and the central location. And uh, so the, it, it is truly, I mean, it's, it's a monument uh, that all Arkansans should be proud of. In 1948, it was finished. And the first event to be held there was, of course, a Razorback football game. The Hogs taking on Abilene Christian on September 18th, Arkansas's largest sports crowd to date. And they didn't leave disappointed as the Hogs won the matchup 40 to 6. The momentum here just seems so good. Like you said, the first game, great blowout. And then the record for the University of Arkansas here is so good. I think it might have to do something with the fans and the acoustics. And just having that 12th man here on the field just really helping the team. That first game propelling the Hogs to success as they've won over 150 games at War Memorial Stadium since then. There's a magic in the air there, one that was felt back in 2002 when the Razorbacks came back with less than a minute in the game to take down LSU 21-20, a victory that sent the Hawks to the SEC title game. During the miracle on Markham, I was not here for the game, but I could hear it on our back deck. So uh, we heard the cheers before we saw it on TV. That atmosphere, one of the most unique in college football and one of the loudest. So. You know, you often hear about uh, other stadiums where the decibel levels reach uh, all-time high, uh, and I, I realized that that was the case here. This is one of the loudest stadiums I've ever been in when it's full and, and everybody's cheering. That's not the only thing that defines War Memorial Stadium. It's message, the reason it has the name it does, the stadium dedicated to Arkansans who fought in World War I and II, but now it serves as a memorial for all Arkansans who have served in the line of duty. In the enabling legislation uh, that was passed in 1947, it was even said it was going to be a war memorial stadium. They, they knew that at the beginning. So then when it was dedicated, of course, Footsie Britt, the, the, the Medal of Honor winner, he was a natural to dedicate that. And so uh, that, it, it's a great honor that that's what this is all about. And, and it's good for people to remember that that's what this stadium is. It's a memorial to our veterans. A memorial that Arkansans have been making memories at for 75 years now and will continue to for the next 75 more. It was amazing to get to learn the history of this place, but what's even cooler than learning the history of this place? Getting to tick off an item on my bucket list, DJ. You see that hog out there in the middle of the field? Yeah, that's me painting the eyebrow of it. Yeah, I bet you didn't know the hog had a little eyebrow there. So if the eyebrows messed up at all, uh, DJ, you know who to come call and uh, that about. I hope nobody uh, hates on it today for the game, but that was so cool to get to do that. Thank you to the staff at War Memorial for letting me do something that has always been on my bucket list. You know, I... Uh... I didn't know that until you just said that, and I'm, I'm kind of envious. I'm a little jealous. I want to be able to paint the hog on the uh, one more stadium in my hometown. That's awesome stuff. Courtney, thank you so much.